diary hello it's uh, January 2023 and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your Apple watch to the Zwift um, indoor cycling system um, I'm using a Tacx trainer as you can see on the screen all is well it says connected and it says Apple watch and it says 58 beats per minute now uh, the story is that in the olden days uh, you had to run a set of special programs on your Apple Watch uh, to try and get it to connect to Zwift. But now it seems that you don't need to do anything except run the Zwift application on your Apple Watch. So that's what I'm going to attempt to show you. We actually see it working right now. We're going to shut everything down, start it up and start from first principles so you can see how it all should work. I have to say it's not totally reliable, unlike my Garmin watch, which uses Ant Plus. So let's give it a go anyway. So you've now loaded the Zwift app on your laptop or MacBook. The next step is to go to your Apple Watch and you need to start the Zwift app here. So you need to click on the Zwift app. Then you need to go to your phone and start the Zwift Companion app. Now, the Zwift Companion app will start and it's at this point that the Zwift Companion app talks to your Apple Watch. And you should see it pair and you should see a heart rate being displayed here. So we haven't done any searching yet on the paired devices screen of the Zwift app. But we've got the Zwift companion app talking to the Apple Watch. So once that's done, you can then go to the search screen of the heart rate and then it should pick up the Apple Watch here. And then we can click OK. So now you can see everything is kind of working. We have got the heart rate connected the trainer is connected and we're now in the Zwift screen. So now if we trundle down to a course that I shall just do, not totally at random, we will go to a course, say this one, and Come on, you can do it. You can do it, but slowly. So now you can see the heart rate is displayed here. So the telltale is, if that goes, you know that something's busted in your configuration. Okay, I hope you find that useful.